G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in the previous videos, you've seen this absolutely marvellous little steam engine I got. And uh, it's by far the best steam engine I've got, for sure. Great. And I did a few mods to it. And I've got one more to go. And I'll show you what that is. On the end here, this on the border, there's two ports. One's for the pressure gauge, and there's a spare one. And of course you've got the filler cap and uh, pressure relief valve here, and you've got the steam flow valve there as well. And that one's just going to waste. And first I thought, oh, I might put a, uh, an outlet, a tap on there, an outlet, so I can run other steam engines. And then I thought, oh, but then you've got the hassle of trying to hook them all up, you know. Being steam, you can't use anything plastic pipe-wise because it would just <laughs> be too soft. So I gave that idea away and I thought, well, I don't know, you know, I'll leave it for now. Then a few people said, how about, you know, can you put a whistle on these things? And so I was thinking about buying one and I, the main concern was, can you fit a whistle? And I said, well, yeah, you can. There's a, there's a port there, an outlet, and it got me thinking. So... That's what I'm going to do, try to do. I ordered a whistle and it arrived today, I'll show you. Now I wanted to keep the whistle in scale with the engine so I didn't want anything too big. So I had a look around and there's really very little available and the best range that I could see was engine DIY. And they had one there which was the same as I had fitted to another one of my steam engines from the factory and so I ordered one of those and here it is that's not too bad the scale wise that works in pretty well but of course you've got to have some way of coming out of the boiler and then up because it's vertical which is the way, the way you want it so I'm going to have to make up an adapter a union of some sort and uh, do it that way no big deal it should look good you know it should just finish it off really well so what could possibly be hard about that so the whistle has a thread and a little washer and a, um, a nut and looking at it I thought oh yeah it looks like metric you know it uh, you know, should be straightforward enough. But of course, you've really got to check. So in that case, you check the TPI, the count of the teeth. And once again, this is where these little thread gauges that I showed in a previous review video are just essential because otherwise you just can't tell. And a lot of these threads, are, particularly the small ones, are so similar. And... Uh, so I checked it, you know, with my metric gauges, thinking uh, it would be metric. No, it's not. So uh, then I checked it with my imperial gauges, and it's actually um, 5 sixteenths BSP. So, sorry, yeah, BSP. So, which is basically what I've got in my cheap... Chinese tap and die set so I can I can cut the thread but once again you know if you'd assumed I measured it measured it up at uh, what was it 8 mil and I would have thought oh it's just 8 mil 1.0 but it's not it's uh, it's imperial and they look so similar and they are very very close but they won't screw together so yeah once again you have to have one of these for this sort of work all right, moving on. So the next question is, what thread is this? Now there's two options, neither. If we can match the thread, we can make up an adapter to screw in. If we can't match the thread, there's two other options. You can either drill it out the centre of this and tap a thread, or you can um, raise in a, or solder in a, um, a tube and join them up that way. So we'll take this out and see what we're actually dealing with. Right. Now 
I mean, if worse came to worse, you can even tap a bigger thread in, into the the border itself. But um, hmm. So once again, we have to get our thread gauge and see what we're dealing with. Looking at it, it looks about 40 TPI. It's a very, very fine thread. And this is where if you buy thread gauges, you want to buy some good quality ones because when you get into these small sizes, if the thread gauges aren't formed very precisely, they're useless. So this one from uh, Banggood is spot on. It's really good. So what is it? It's, uh, it's not imperial and uh, therefore it's got to be metric. And what it is, is 5 mil, 0.5 pitch. And I don't have any 0.5 pitch taps and dies. So, what do you do? Well, I, you know, you can consider drilling out and re-tapping the, uh, the boiler or buying one, so I chose to buy one. I had a look on the internet and the prices range from very, very cheap from AliExpress to, you know, 30 bucks. So I went very, very cheap from AliExpress and I've ordered one, a die, from uh, there for the princely sum of $3.65, which is pretty cheap. It's probably got, it's got to come from China, so it's got a pretty slow boat, so I won't be going any further with this for a while. So, yeah, I'm going to finish off the video at this point, and you can come back in later when I get the uh, the die. And the reason I only bought the die is because I've got a zillion other taps. All I have to do is machine up a 5 mil uh, adapter, tap it with the die, screw it into the boiler, and I'm good to go. From then I'll just use my existing taps. Uh, I've got, as I said, I've got the uh, the one for the whistle, so that won't be a problem. And uh, yeah, all right. Well, that's it for now. Just a, I'll give you an update later. And okay, catch you next time. Cheers.